that can be traumatizing to a young child. I, I heard a child yesterday that saw an image like this, and she said, "Baby, baby." She didn't. She didn't start screaming and you know start crying. She said, "Baby." Well, they know it. So it pe is, yes. people need to see these images because we have been allowing this for 50 years in this country. 50 years we have been tolerating this and allowing it. The churches have done nothing. People need to see it. Christians, those who say they love Jesus Christ, need to see this. So I show it to them until they stop. If people don't want me to show this, stop tolerating it. Shut down every place where they murder babies, and I don't have to show these anymore. We're not the government. We're, we can't do anything with the city council. Uh, except yeah, for yes, you can. Cents in. You can. You can make a difference with the government. You just have to reach out to them. And tell, you have to be like the persistent widow. What did the persistent widow do in, in the New Testament? The widow nagged that judge, the judge that hated God, the, the persistent widow. She demanded of him that, that he grant her request, and he finally did. Even though he said he, just, he did not yeah. uh, honor or fear God, but he did what she asked. That's what we need to be doing. That's what the Christians need to be doing with our city councils, with the governor, with the mayor, with the police departments, is nag them to death until they do the right thing and abolish abortion. Okay. And we haven't been doing that for 50 so, years. So, I'm Ken. What's your name? I'm Nicholas. Do you shake hands? Is that cool? I'm not, Nicholas? Uh, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Hey, man, yeah. I totally want you to know that we are 100% on the same page as far as abortion, that it's wrong. Do you, you believe it's murder? God, we, we believe 100% that God forms each of us in the womb, that God knows us that God, you know, loves us. So we are 100% like on the same page. Let me ask you a question. In regards though. to that. Let me ask you but a let question. Let me finish. Okay. But we're not going to, as, as a church, we're not going to, we're not going to take the stance of having this visible mess, this visible uh, message against abortion. Mm -hmm. Because here's, here's what we're doing, right? We want people to come to Christ first. Right. And we want to abolish abortion second. You can do you can do them at the same time. Well, you don't have to. It's it's possible, but the the message that the way that this is coming across mm -hmm. is is putting this before Jesus. No, that's not. It is okay, and we can no, have a difference of opinion, not. and that's great, and that is awesome, and God's going to give you uh, an an avenue for you to be able to pursue that, but it's not going to be at the Avenue Church. Yes, it is. On the sidewalk. I'm on a public sidewalk. I have a legal right to be here. All right, but you're not being you're not being loving, man. Yes, I am. To the preborn babies being murdered. Yeah. That you're ignoring. But but how how are you going to communicate that to the parents, right? Like By the, doing what the I'm babies, doing. I agree. They I'm don't have doing. a choice, right? I agree. But that is not the way that's going to help this this parent that needs to come here and have their heart changed by the gospel of Jesus Christ. They need to have their heart changed. Probably before their mind's going to change. Okay, this is a spiritual work that I believe that the, the that the Holy Spirit does, and I do not. I don't want you to feel like I'm not on your side because I am on I your side. I feel like that. <laughs> I'm on From what your you side, said. but you also need to recognize that you're not being loving to the people that need to that need to embrace the message. You're coming across right you're coming across in an unloving way even though i know in your heart you're loving like i believe a hundred percent that you love the unborn children just as god does i believe a hundred percent that do you i do but i'm telling you that the message you're wanting to communicate is not going to be received in the way that you're trying to like you could i i believe that god loves the homosexual i, I don't believe that, that their their lifestyle is correct but if I, if I approach them with the sign that says, God hates bags, do you think that's going to change their heart? More than Christians who comfort them in their sin and lead them to hell. We don't comfort in our sin, though. No, I'm not saying you do. I'm just yeah. saying more than Christians who do that. Yeah. Or professing Christians because well, they're not Christians. We, we, could, we could have a debate about which one of those is, is less right than the other. Or we could but just say, and we, could, we could step back and say, okay, how did Jesus confront the woman at the well? He didn't, he didn't go after her sin. He didn't go after... Actually, he did eventually. He did eventually. Exactly. And that's my point that I'm trying to, to help you understand, Nicholas, is that I don't believe that the approach is, is going to change hearts. I believe the approach is going gonna, is gonna to take somebody who's, who's maybe on the, the verge of like, man, I'm in this place and I, I want to have help and I want to... And like, oh man, woo, they are not for me. And they're going to they're gonna take that... They're going to take that the the miss they're going to misunderstand your your message you can assume that i know i know differently because I, I do this all the time 
Okay. People change their minds, they don't murder their babies. And I mean, if those who name the name of Jesus Christ have a problem with this being displayed more than, if they, sh if they have a problem with this being displayed while they're really not doing much, that's a problem. The vast majority of professing Christians I've encountered over the years, they're, they're, they're not outraged that this is happening to children. They're outraged that, they're outraged that, I, show it to, that I show it to them. And that's yeah. pathetic. That's well, embarrassing. Yeah, and so we're not outraged. I'm just trying to come alongside we're of you. We're upset. The, the, the thing that I'm hoping to accomplish is that people's hearts are going to be impacted, and I don't believe this is the right way. I and think it's it not, is. And this isn't the right place for this, right? I so believe like it is you, the point here. Okay, as a, as a fellow believer, are going, are, are usurping what, what you're being asked to do, right? To not display this publicly at our at our location. You know? I'm actually not at your location, I'm on a public sidewalk, I'm not on your property. No, yeah, you're on the public side. I get it, right? The technicality, right? Listen to my heart, dude. Listen to my heart. I am. And we're on the same we're on the same team. Well we're not. I'm just being honest with you. We're not. You don't agree. You. Oh, so I have to agree with everything that you. No, how you I'm, think that you have to. No, I'm this? saying based on what you're saying, we're not. We're not on the same page. I'm not. We're not on the same page. Yeah, you're. You're correct. You, if you're. On the, if we're on the same page, you would. You would appreciate me being here, showing the bloody city her abominations. You would appreciate that, but Dude, you don't. I, here, here's what I'd appreciate. I'd appreciate that you would show up and go go along with the methods and the means that we are communicating this message. Right? Well, like I wouldn't take it upon myself to think that 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 I, you know, if you were if you were if you were doing ministry somewhere, right? So let's say this is your ministry, right? And that, that I wouldn't even say, well, I don't necessarily agree with how he's coming across. I'm going to go to wherever you set up your ministry and I'm going to go and I'm going to be defiant against you and I'm going to be defiant against your perspective that you have taken, right, to communicate the message. And I'm going to say, dude, hey. I, you, you don't agree with what I say, so I'm going to come into your place and I'm going to I'm going to intentionally try to disrupt your method of, of proclaiming this message. I'm not disrupting you. Do we, well, you're you're. It's your choice to come out talk to me. Okay. I'm not coming into your place. I'm standing on a public sidewalk. <laughs> Dude, I appreciate that. I appreciate uh, well, that. Well, then you're talking out of both sides of your mouth because so far you communicated that you don't appreciate it. I appreciate your heart. I don't appreciate your methods. You don't appreciate what I'm doing. Okay, well, I'm okay, sorry. Because it's part of the methods are part of what I'm doing. Okay. That I'm using, I'm using the same methods that the prophets in the Old Testament used. We, we have been at peace with child sacrifice for 50 years in this country. Child sacrifice has been allowed and pushed by the government. And most professing Christians, the vast majority, do nothing about it. They think that putting money in baby bottles, throwing money at organizations, voting for compromising, spineless pro-life Republicans is enough. Well, the fact that we have places where you can murder your baby, uh, surgical death camps and uh, abortion right. mills, and we have pharmacies everywhere where you can murder your baby through a pill, you can murder your baby through online, Amazon, or eBay, that shows that we, our efforts have been pitiful for 50 years. That's what I'm trying to communicate to people. We have to, we have to repent and change our actions, or else God's going to judge us and wipe us off the face of the earth. And we're already being judged. Right. The and Lord is judging this and nation. And here's where you and I have, have personal responsibility. We have personal responsibility, right, in how we how we communicate, how we how we love our neighbor, how we um, <laughs> how we approach the world, right? Like we have personal responsibility of that. We have personal responsibility. Now corporately, I don't den I don't disagree with you, man. Like if I was God, yeah. I would, thank God I'm not God, right? But here's the deal, is that we have personal responsibility for how we communicate, how we come across. So here's here's what I want you to know, all right? There's a, there's a lady who used to come to our church, right? Who was considering an abortion. And do you know what put her over the edge to do an abortion? Signs like this. You can't prove that. From her testimony. Okay, you don't know. You're, you're, you're saying that she saw signs like this and that made her ma murder her baby. It, it, it made her feel that the church was not a place that she could come and have a conversation and have people that loved her because they hate this. And I know you're not out here. You're not out here saying anything about like, oh, we hate anybody or oh, we, you know. But what that's what this is communicating without you saying it is a very hateful perspective. 
I want you to I want you to understand, right? That this is all true. I be, I believe a hundred percent. But there's a different way to communicate that's going to capture people's hearts rather than turn people away from the gospel of Jesus Christ. It doesn't do that. But you could say abortion is murder well, all day long. Hold, hold on, hold, hold on, hold on. I'll listen to you. Please finish. You could say abortion is murder all day long, and they're they're professing Christians. They won't even say that. They say it's wrong or it's just not a nice thing. But until you see that, until you see this. People don't understand. They don't understand that it's a living human being who's been butchered by his own selfish, wicked parents. People need to see it. Professing Christians, all these churchgoers, they need to see it. We have many people have gone involved to abolish abortion, to rescue children, to go out to the abortion mills where they're being murdered by seeing these images. They need to see it. And ju and just because people have their feelings hurt does not mean that we have to cater to them and not show these images. Yeah. No, we have, to, we have to show these images, just like the Levite in the book of Judges chapter 19, after his concubine was mutilated to death, he cut her body into 12 pieces and sent those body parts to the 12 tribes of Israel. What was their response? Did they say, oh, how horrible, how dare you show it to people, you're going you're to push people away from Jesus? No. Their response was, who did this? Who's, resp who's responsible for this? That's, what they, that's how they responded. But the, but the churches in America, that they have responded the exact opposite. Not who's responsible for this. We need to bring him to, to justice. No, there's like, oh, that's horrible that you're showing that. What graphic images? We don't want our children to see that. That's what a sissy says. That's that's what a man who. That's what a guy's so not even a man. You're calling people names. Like that's. We're, we're a country full of sissies. We're a country of, of spineless cowards who claim to be men. I'm just being honest with you. Okay. Well. Because where where are the men when babies are being murdered? I, I agree. Ser I mean seriously. I I'm just being 100%. honest with you. I'm being blunt with you. I agree a hundred percent with you, Nicholas. We're not on the same. We are we are not. We're not fighting different wars, but I want I want you to understand that there's a different perspective than the one that you have. Okay? I understand that. I encounter okay, everywhere I go. Deal. I've watched an abortion on on video, okay, and it did. It rocked my world. That's good to hear. But until I was at a point when I was ready to see that, when when I could when I could process that and handle that, it wouldn't have it wouldn't have had the same effect. Okay, um, it had the effect in my life because I was at a certain place to be able to uh, uh, understand and process it and understand it. So we've got we've got know. parents and kids bringing bringing their small kids. That yes, it's a horrible thing, right? But, I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I need to reach the people. Yeah, here's what I here's we're what right, I want you right, to do, right, right, right. Nicholas. Yes, sir. I would I would like for you to put that sign away. I don't mind those other ones. This is just not appropriate to show young children. It is. We disagree on that. Okay. People need to see it. If we're going to tolerate it, we're going to look at it. Hmm. If we're going to, well, we're going to allow this to happen, we're going to look at it. Well, here's the, oh man, Nicholas, but I love you. I love you, man. So no, we're problem, not, we're man. not going to come to an agreement on it. Here's what I'm asking you to do as the pastor of this church. I'm asking you to put that away. And I respectfully decline because people need to see it. Okay. They need to see it. All right. So here's, here's, all right, man, here we go. This is sanctity of human life, Pastor. It is. So we're so, talking about it. So why lives. do you? You've never been I'm, in our church. You don't I'm know trying. What we do. I'm. I'm helping you. You don't, don't know what we do. I'm. I'm helping you. <laughs> I'm okay. help. I'm helping you on sanctity you of human life Sunday. You're helping me. And I believe that you think that, but we're not on the same page. What if a baby gets saved from seeing this today? But maybe you have absolutely. A, maybe you have and a mother who's going to murder her what baby. What if? What if ten people walk away from Jesus Christ? walk away from the, the the possibility of even embracing Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Because here's the deal, I agree, abortion is wrong, but the biggest issue is for people to know and to follow Jesus Christ. If this people not... know and follow Jesus, then then abortion will, abortion will be ended. But we're not, we don't if bring people, people to Jesus. Jesus. We don't bring people to Jesus and throw the preborn under the bus until they come to Jesus. No, we do both. But people aren't going to come to Jesus through the abolishment of abortion. You, you the abolishment you can of abortion that. will that. happen as people come to Jesus. Do both. Do both, Pastor. We're gonna go people need to see it, Pastor. Don't don't hide don't hide them don't hide their eyes from the truth. People need to see it.